Well, for me, the Water Framework Directive is about the right quantity of water with the right quality, which then supports a healthy environment, healthy wildlife, and a place also where people are able to go and enjoy the environment. I think Water Framework Directive kind of gives the wrong impression, it makes it sound like a really technical piece of legislation, when really Water Framework Directive is about making healthy rivers, rivers that people care about, that they are connected to, for life and livelihoods. Physical modification is anything that affects the natural characteristics of a river, such as weirs, straightened channels and culverts. These modifications can have a severe impact on the type and quantity of wildlife that inhabits our rivers. We need to look for opportunities to restore the natural characteristics of our rivers where we can. Diffuse rural pollution is usually um, coming from farms, um, it's a big source of rural pollution. Um, examples might include running off um, from agricultural fields, for example when a farmer has just spread slurry. Um, it might be when farmers dip the sheep, you can sometimes get the sheep dip that washes from the sheep um, or spillages and into the watercourse and that can have a big impact on the ecology of the river. Quite often you'll get a lot of nitrates and phosphates that come from things like slurry um, and as they wash into the river they can promote a lot of plant and algal growth. When they decay they quite often will strip oxygen out of the water which is bad for fish. Urban diffuse pollution is a series of different point sources such as sewage, um, stuff from combined sewer overflows, wrong connections, silt pollution from developments and also runoff from roads as well so there could be oil or, or fuel that could be getting in there. Non-native species are those that have established themselves outside of their natural range. They have an impact on biodiversity, displacing or preying upon native species by destroying their habitats or by introducing new diseases or parasites. Here you can see a field team member injecting the stems of Japanese knotweed with a weed killer. This is an effective method of spot treating localised areas of the weed. In order for us to prevent the spread of alien species in our rivers, it's really important that we're able to identify those species. Here we've got two team members visiting an urban water course to remove trash that's built up on a weed screen. It's important that we separate any alien invasive species from the build up on the weed screen. The invasive species are then bagged up separately to the other way so they can be disposed of in an appropriate manner. So, Water Framework Directive is not just a dry piece of legislation with targets that we all have to comply with. It's a real opportunity to deliver healthy rivers. <laughs>